goal of the inverse dynamics is to find the joint forces and or torques that satisfy a given trajectory. Let us consider these two examples. First, a serial robot, which is a tree-like multibody system, for which the inverse dynamics consists in computing the torque within all joints for a prescribed trajectory of the tool. Secondly, for a closed-loop multibody system, like the Delta robot, the objective is exactly the same. For example, to compute the joint torque at the engine here. Being aware that in this case, the number of actuated joints must be equal to the number of degrees of freedom, that is to say, 3 in the context of the Delta robot, which exactly corresponds to the number of independent coordinates QU. If the number of actuated joints is larger than the number of degrees of freedom, then the system is said to be over-actuated. Contrarily, it is said to be under-actuated. One can easily find both cases in the human body. For example, the elbow flexion extension has one degree of freedom, but is over-actuated by several muscles, including the biceps and triceps brachii. An example of underactuated system in the human body could be the finger, where you have these three joints here that could be considered as underactuated by one muscle for that motion. Although multibody system softwares can deal with such over and underactuated modes, these ones are out of scope of this course. For a tree like multibody system, let us remind the equations of motion. For the direct dynamics, the unknowns were the accelerations q dot dot, obtained by solving this system of equation, m q dot dot plus c equal to q, in which q represents the generalized joint forces. For the inverse dynamics, these generalized joint forces Q become the problem unknowns given a joint trajectory Q, Q dot, Q dot dot. In this case, the mass matrix M is not useful anymore, and the previous equation here can be rewritten as Q equal to a function phi of Q, Q dot, Q dot dot, with phi obviously equal to m q dot dot plus c, but without the explicit computation of the mass matrix m of complexity 2. In the general case, where the joints contain passive forces and torques, like dry and viscous friction, let us rewrite q as follows. q is equal to q a plus QP, where QA refers to the actuation forces and torques, and QP refers to the passive forces and torques. Therefore, the final form of the equations of the inverse dynamics of a multibody system can be written as QA equal to phi. minus QP, of which the unknowns correspond to the torques applied within the robot joints. This means QA, for example, at this joint, and QP at this joint. For constrained multibody systems containing loops of bodies, like the delta, the partitioning technique could be applied to the inverse dynamics equations, leading to Q U equal to 
phi u plus bvu transposed phi v independent dependent as detailed in the module assuming that the actuated and independent joints coincide this equation becomes q u a and in the general case where passive forces and torques exist in any joint the final form of the inverse dynamics reads like this minus the passive dependent forces and torques minus the passive independent forces and torques. In the case of the delta robot, the three actuated torques QUA are the ones of the motors located on the roof and actuating the three arms. The way inverse dynamics is numerically implemented does not require any integration method as it was the case for the direct dynamics. Contrarily, it simply loops on the time steps of the input trajectory. Let us illustrate this in the case of a constraint multibody system for which the trajectory is known, that is to say, via the knowledge of the independent variables u, u dot, and u dot dot, or the whole set of variables as soon as they satisfy the constraints. The inverse dynamics computes the joint actuation forces and torques QA for all consecutive configurations of the multibody system according to the input trajectory as a function of time t going from the initial value t0 to the final value tf. Enjoy inverse dynamics. <laughs>